Um, well, clearly it's one of disappointment. Um, we really didn't have any inclination of the result until well after other people seem to know. And, and it clearly seems to be a, a kick in the teeth for the views of, of, of the residents of Somerset. So it's disappointment at the moment, but we need to examine the detail within the letter, which uh, w we need a few days to do. You obviously conducted your own research. You were worried that people's voices weren't heard. Um, do you still do you still feel that? Uh, yes. I mean, we, we conducted two polls, Mori and, and also an in-person poll that people had the ability to send back or, or go online and, and give their views. And, and in both cases, there was an overwhelming rejection of a, a single unitary in favour of uh, slightly more closer to the, to the public um, two unitaries uh, within Somerset. In your view, why were two councils better than one? Um, I, I think they're closer to the people. They're, they would be more responsive. Um, the councillors uh, that represent the people in a two unitary would have less people to represent so they'd be able to get round and, and speak and hear the views of people uh, and people would have access to those councillors rather than a large remote uh, unitary council where people would ha find it difficult or impossible to, to have their, their, um, their voice heard. I very much get the reaction from your initial answer that this possibly isn't over. Are you looking to challenge the decision? Is that something you're investigating at this moment? Well, clearly, as I, I said, we need to examine the letter and the minister's criteria for his decision. And, and then it will be put to, to the members to ask them what they feel is the best way forward. Um, cl clearly, uh, the minister's um, own criteria was a degree of public support. Um, and, and I think we demonstrated that the public support was with the two unitary uh, situation and I'm at the moment um, at a loss to know why that wasn't chosen.